Welcome back to Get Out the House, Go Fish. Today, uh, basically, I started thinking about, you know what? When I started getting into saltwater fishing, uh, I wasn't sure what uh, tackle I needed um, as far as my rigs, um, what to use to target a certain fish. And uh, I was like all like, uh, I remember I went the whole year of 2017, I did not catch one redfish. And I was, I, I was like, I don't know, I mean, you know, and uh, the more things I, I, I tried and uh, I kind of picked up on, uh, you know, from other videos, but this is basically um, the tackle that I used to catch my personal best redfish. All right, so I just got back from the store. Uh, let's go ahead and take some uh, items out of the bag here. All right, so I'm just showing you that I use monofilament for my reels. Um, right here is the Cast King 12 pound. Uh, I've also used the 15 pound um, trilene, but I don't really use that a lot anymore. Uh, I mostly use the, the Cast King uh, monofilament. I just prefer that. And um, you can use either one. It really doesn't matter. But for my leader line, uh, that's a different story. Let me show you back when I was using just uh, monofilament for my leaders. A little clip here of uh, my experience with doing that. Got a big one. Oh, 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 shazam. So I just lost that big blue. Mm -mm -mm. Trying to see this where it's free. Yep, it's frayed all right in here. You see that? So, lesson learned, right? Well, after that, I started using strictly Eagle Claw Snails Nyla wire and have been successful, uh, no break offs uh, ever since that one time. So, anyway, you know, as far as like the hook size, I always try to get the uh, the one knot circle hook. If they don't have that, then I'll get something around the, you know that same size, and that that's worked out great. All right, next you'll need a uh, pack of these egg weights. Now the size will depend on the conditions that you're fishing, but let me tell you what uh, you can do to these egg weights. Go pick up some fluorescent fingernail polish or even some Plasti Dip. Now you can probably get it from like Home Depot or like off Amazon, this Plasti Dip, but coat your egg weights with it. And you know, I've seen uh, someone at the beach where he dipped his uh, egg weights in like that bright orange uh, Plasti Dip. And uh, he was getting way more hookups uh, than the guy uh, that was fishing next to him. So whatever you can do to, you know, to have the advantage, uh, definitely do it. And uh, something that's so simple uh, doesn't take much. All right, so the last two things you'll need is uh, this packet of beads and then this size seven uh, swivel. All right, we have all our supplies. Now we're gonna put the uh, Carolina rig together. So first, go ahead and pull some extra line off the reel, and then go ahead and grab that egg weight and slide that on first. All right, now we're gonna put our bead on. Now, you can go to a craft store and get uh, a bigger pack, multiple colors, uh, you can put more than one bead on. Uh, you just do what you uh, want to do. But uh, I usually just put one on just to protect that knot when that weight is sliding back and forth and hitting up against that swivel. All right, next, I'm going to add that swivel. I usually tie it with a uh, polymer knot. You can tie it however you want it. You can do a, uh, a simple knot, whatever you want to do. I like the polymer knot, and uh, here's a picture of it, and I'm gonna show you how to tie it. All right, first, you're gonna double up the line to form a loop. Pass it through the hole of the swivel, and when you pass it through, pull enough out to make a simple overhand knot. Now, once you do that, don't pull it tight yet. Uh, open the loop up at the end.
go over the swivel, now pull the tag ends to tighten it down. And uh, there you go. There's your polymer knot. All right, now all we have to do is add that nylon wire on here uh, to complete the Carolina rig. And you can use live bait, cut bait, uh, shrimp, you know, either frozen, live, um, crabs. Um, you can change the setup of this as far as like the size of this to catch the, the bigger reds. Uh, you can catch sheep's head, uh, multiple things, but I'm just focusing in on uh, redfish. So to put this nylon wire on, all you do is you uh, get that loop at the end there, squeeze it together, push it through the uh, swivel. And then you're gonna take the hook, bring it up and go through the loop and then pull it tight. Anyway, uh, I'm just sharing this information um, for someone else that's you know might want to get into uh, some saltwater fishing. Uh, maybe they're coming down here to Florida, and just uh, or maybe you know you're just having a difficult time uh, and you uh, need you know a little more uh, guidance or just some information. Uh, now this is isn't the only way I've caught redfish, uh, but it's uh, definitely an easy way. You know they're they're bottom feeders so. Uh, and uh, when it, that weather warms up, they, they love that finger mullet, I'm telling you. And, uh, and shrimp just comes off too easily, so I, I definitely always use the finger mullet. Anyway, I just hope this helps somebody out. And uh, like I said, this is just one way to, to catch a, a, a nice sized redfish. All right, enjoy the video. Put this guy in. Fish on, fish on. Fish on. First fish on the... Damn. Oh, it's a big one too. It is a big fish. Pull some drag right away. Oh man, I need a net for this. That's a big fish. I don't know what it is, but it's big. It's definitely pulling me around. Oh man. Wow, I think it's a red. I'm not sure though. Oh, it looks like a red. Yep, nice red. Nice red. All right. Man, no, yep, yeah, it's a red. That's a big old red. I don't know if my net will fit in that thing. Man. Woohoo. Dog gone. <laughs> Again. <laughs> so. Whew. Wow. This is a 26. Look at this monster. Wow. That's my personal best right there. 26 red a 20 look how big that guy is holy cow oh my gosh 
Amazing. <laughs> Get out the house, go fish.